Today, I'm building a team to beat the 2017 Warriors, but my team starts out as a 40 overall. Each time my team fails to beat the 2017 Warriors in a seven game series, I will spin from the upgrade wheel. The upgrade wheel has five tiers, and every five spins on the upgrade wheel will unlock a new tier. As the tiers go up, the chances of getting a superstar player increase while the chances of getting a bump decrease. The goal is to build a perfect team to take down the 2017 Warriors and try my best to do it with as little upgrades as possible. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Also, check out my Twitch. I stream every weekday at 11 a.m. and follow me on Twitter. I tweet a lot about basketball. Let's go. Well, here's our first try to take down the 17 Warriors. Let's see if this 40 overall squad can handle. Him. Well, we lost game one and we lost by 120 points. JaVale McGee had 18 and 20. And to no surprise, we got swept. This team is just absolutely good at nothing, but I'm gonna have this pick and roll going here. All right, hey, listen, if I can score, then they gotta be able to score better than 33. But they're definitely not gonna be hitting free throws, especially with that form. We didn't really have a chance anyway. We have all 40 overall, so we got, I don't know why Ben McLemore's on the team. He is not on our team, but okay. And yeah, Curry had 50 and Durant a triple double. Well, we gotta start building this team now. Let's see what the tier one wheel has to offer. Oh, we almost got a star, but. I gotta pick up a free agent, which was a 40% chance. We're gonna make our first pickup of the video be Tony Snell. I know he's not the most flashy pick, and he's got a couple bad graphics, but we need some shooting, which is what he can do, and we need some defense, which out of all these 70 overall guys, I mean, he's one of the best. Everybody, welcome Tony Snell to the Miami Heat. Let's see if that makes a difference. Not much changed here in game one. Curry dropping 50, Durant dropping 34, but Tony Snell giving us 12 and 12. He scored the basketball and got us two blocks. Not bad. All we're doing right now is building that foundation. We're trying to get Heat culture back to what it was, and not Tony Snell at a bunch of 40 overall. But Tony Snell is the official leader of Heat culture. Look at that, bro. He can play. Getting to the line here. Knocking down some free throws. Okay. Listen, they're going to win a lot of championships. There's not much we're going to be able to do about it. But as long as we build the perfect team to win the last championship, that's all I care about. I got to get a point guard next time, bro. This man, We got to stop Curry. Well, it's time to get our next guy. Let's see what we got here. Another free agent. It's a 40% chance. It makes sense. And the best point guard I could find is Tyler Johnson. I mean, he played for the Heat. He's already got Heat culture in his veins. He can hit a shot, play a little bit of defense. We'll take him. Now we got a dynamic duo of Tyler Johnson and Tony Snell. I don't know what's dynamic about him, but we'll see. I guess game one went better. We're not losing by 100 anymore. Curry shot 11 for 20. That's top-notch defense from Tyler Johnson. And our lean scorer was D. Carter. Okay, I don't know what Tyler Johnson and Tony Snell are doing, but all right. We only lost by 80. I can live with that. It's a crazy statement, but I mean, we got Tony Snell and Tyler Johnson on the team, so I don't know what you expect. Let's see if Tyler can cook up here pick. Here we go. Rolling. Kick it out to the shooter. I don't know who this is, and that's definitely off. Well, that's three rings for the Warriors, but they're definitely starting to get a little nervous. We almost lost that game by only 70. Is Durant gonna get it once? I guess now I'm Curry dropping 42. I mean, Durant at 40 as well. Look at Tyler Johnson dropping 19, bro. What a great fit to this team. But we gotta give Tyler Johnson and Tony Snell some help. Another free agent. It, it, again, it is the highest chance of happening. We're gonna try to match the Warriors small ball. A lot of them play coast. It's at the five. Not really sure what he's good at, but, uh, you know, we'll, you know, we'll see. Well, we got our big Three set up. Let's see if they make a difference. Well, we only lost by 70 game one. Curry still had 44 and 12, though. And look at Costas with 14 and 11. All right, we're moving up. We are no longer losing by 100. Let's see that Costas Tyler pick and roll. Here we go. Costas, good screen. Go to the basket. How about we lob it? All right, yeah, that's going to need some polishing, but, we, you know, we'll get there. Enjoy ring number four. That's four in a row. Not a bad game from the big three. We only have two tier one spins left. What do we got? Finally, okay, a bench warmer at 30%. We're going to take Sean Bradley here from the 2003 Mavericks. We got to find a way to combat their undersized lineup and just go big. We'll go 7-6 center. So I moved closer to the four, and now we have Sean Bradley starting at center. Let's see if he makes a difference. Well, game one, we lost by 80. Had a JaVale McGee drop 18 and 12. And Sean Bradley at 7-6 shot two for 12, bro. Just was an absolute no. I thought he matched up well. But I guess Sean Bradley's struggling. Like, how do you not just go in the post here? Just dominate, bro. Like, he's too little. Uh Okay, all right. Maybe not was not maybe was not the best draft pick. And that'll be ring number five for Curry and the Warriors. Coast is what a great game. Maybe he plays better at the four, so not a bad adjustment. And here is our last spin on the tier one. Will we get another bench warmer? Okay, that's a good way to end it there. I feel like this team is missing a knockdown shooter. Let's bring in Duncan Robinson. He's obviously not gonna be able to guard Clay, but the team we have right now just has no shooting. We need someone to just run around the court all game. I moved him the shooting guard, but he went down to overall, so we're just gonna bite the bullet. Let's see what these guys can do. Game one only lost by 60. And look at Coast with 22, Tyler Johnson with 17. Sean Bradley with 12. Duncan with 11. We got a good starting five here. And by good, I mean at least better than the all 40 overall lineup. At least now we'll be moving on to the tier two wheel, man. We got to get the free agents out of here. We need better percentages for better players. Is he going to win every single one? Well, he's not going to win the last one. That one's going to Sean Bradley. Well, here's our first spin on the tier two wheel. What do we got to start? 86, that's a 10% chance. Nice grab. Now, I know it's not a flashy pick, but we're taking Drew Holiday. I need someone who can baby Steph Curry with his size. He can hit a shot when we need him to. And he's going to follow Curry around all day with that amazing defense.
defense. This team is starting to look very promising. Not really. It's just Drew Holiday and a bunch of bums. Well, we almost lost by 90 in game one. Drew Holiday's defense didn't do too much there, but he did score the ball, just not very efficiently. And I accidentally simmed through all of game four, but look how close this score is. 88 to 104. Curry had another great game, but look at Drew Holiday, 37, 4 and 4. That's amazing, man. We are on the right track to building a perfect team to take down the 17 Warriors team. We'll take a role player, 80. Okay, 76 to 80 overall. We're going to take another player that isn't really flashy, Jonathan Isaac. We're not really asking him to score, but if I had to pick anybody to guard Durant out of role players, this guy's got a pretty good argument. Let's see if Isaac can hold his own against KD. Well, game one was a disappointment. KD missed three shots. Okay, that was some great defense. Duncan Robinson led us in scoring. Where did Jonathan Isaac do? 13 points with three for 13. That's pretty bad. Look how close this game four is. I know we're down 3-0, but still, to be this competitive with Golden State with Drew Holiday and Jonathan Isaac, I mean, we're doing something right. Oh, what a steal. Drew using the Sean Bradley screen. Drew down the basket, dives to the Bradley. Bradley, don't pull up some garbage, please. He got fouled. And again, we're just laying the foundation right now. I don't need to build a team of guys who can put the ball in the basket and score like crazy because we're not going to outshoot the Warriors. We got to get some defense in the building. Drew Holiday plays some great defense right now. You got to help off the screen, Sean. Okay, he missed it. Rebound, Brad. Come on. If we can just win one game, I'm cool with that. Seven seconds left to win one game versus this 2017 Warriors team. Drew Holiday driving down to Bradley. Bradley. We were so close, bro. Well, obviously what I'm doing so far has been right, but to just come that close within a win of beating this team with Drew Holiday and Jonathan Isaac, man, that would have been great. And Drew had a great game. Look at that, bro. Drew is making a difference, and so is Duncan. Wow. All right, well, we got three more spins on the tier two. Oh, we almost got a superstar, but I'll take a starter. I think we need someone on this team who is just all about buckets, and that's going to be MPJ. I know he's literally never going to pass the ball, but we just need someone who's not afraid to shoot the ball, and he's going to fit perfectly. I'm starting to love this team, man. We're building something special. Let's see how we do. We only lost game one by 13 points. I was gonna say we gotta upgrade our two-guard spot, but Duncan dropped 22, bro. I don't know if we gotta get rid of him. And we put up a good fight, but we still have yet to beat this Warriors team. Now, if I'm Durant, I gotta be hate-watching right now, bro. Nine finals MVPs in a row. I mean, he did drop 42, so I get it. But look at MPJ, man. Not a bad game at all. We have two spins left on the tier two. Well, what do we got? Oh my god! Oh, look how close that is to being bench war, bro. We just picked up a goat. I want LeBron to get his revenge, so we're gonna bring in 2016 LeBron. I could go with MJ. Obviously, that would make sense because we don't have a two guy right now. We have Duncan there, but I want LeBron to get this one. I moved MPJ to the two, so we have Drew, MPJ, LeBron, Isaac, and Sean Bradley. What a starting five. Let's see how much of a difference LeBron makes. We only lost game one by 11 points, and LeBron had you know 53, 17, and four. Nothing crazy. And adding prime LeBron James finally got us our first win. He dropped 44, nine and nine. What a game. We're still down 3-1, but, you know, we'll take the win. But can we extend the series? Tyler Johnson off the screen. Pass to Bradley. Dude, you are ass. I got to get rid of Sean Bradley. He's terrible. Tyler to Isaac. Isaac. Oh, you. Oh. You sabotage, bro. What was that? You had a wide open three. Well, we fought hard, but Prime LeBron almost got us two games. We're right there, man. I can smell it. I mean, LeBron only had a 40-point triple-double. Nothing crazy. And here is our final spin of the tier two. Well, we got a role player. Okay, 76 to 80. That's fine. We're going to give LeBron a teammate he is very familiar with, but he's going to be our sixth man, can knock down shots and play defense. This team is really coming together, and we're still losing game one. Can't do much about JaVel McGee dropping 24 and 8. This Warriors team is just too good. We got Prime LeBron. Drew Holiday, J.R. Smith. We got guys who can play, man. It's still nowhere near enough. We need some more certified buckets in the starting line. MPJ is nice, and, you know, Sean Bradley's the big fix. He's got to go. He was sort of a band-aid for having all 40 overall players on the team. He's just too tall compared to everybody else. But now we got to get rid of him. He's still winning it every time. But look at J.R. with 31, man. That's a certified bucket. And now here's our first spin on the tier through where all the odds have gone up. Another GOAT player is joining the team. This might move the needle, man. A 4% chance. I want Shaq to prove that he would destroy this Warriors team. They're just too undersized, man. Shaq, 7 one 3, 25. Come on, man. I mean, if we can't win with this team, bro, I don't know what team beats the 17 Warriors. We're going to go game by game here. Game one of the finals. The Heat take. All right. That's the first time we won a game one. And LeBron goes for 34 and 9. Shaq goes for 23. Let's see if we can repeat here in game two. Okay, the Warriors take game two. Durant with 36. Curry with 19. How about game three here? What do we got? The Heat respond. LeBron with a triple-double. Shaq, really a no-show. The Warriors tie it up here at 2-2. Two to two. Not much you can do about KD making 10 threes in a game. The biggest game of the video so far right here, Game 5. And the Warriors get us in a blowout. What is going on with Shaq and LeBron right now? I built you the perfect team, man. I don't know what else you could want, LeBron. And prime Shaq and LeBron is not enough to take down this Warriors team. I don't really know what this team needs. I guess just better players overall, some bench players. I mean, but I thought prime LeBron and Shaq would be enough to get it done. KD 
Katie's got to average 50, bro. There's no other way you can win it. I mean, LeBron and Shaq did their jobs, but Curry did have 45 with 10 threes. So, yeah, not much you could do there. Time for another tier three spin right here. What do we got? A starter? Okay, we'll take a starter 81 to 85. This team needs someone to run the second unit. So, we're going to pick up 37 year old Jason Kidd. Let's see if Jason Kidd off the bench is a difference maker. Here we go. Game one, and the Warriors take it. They won by nine points. Shaq had a great game, man. It just wasn't enough. Let's try game two here, and the Warriors again. We really just have no answer for this team. How about game three here? Okay, we got a game. Shaq is showing up doing his thing. Jason Kidd's not doing much, but he's getting seven assists. He's running that second unit. I'm not looking for him to score the ball. We're going to go down 3-1. Curry with 46. We responded in game five. LeBron with 29. Duncan Robinson with 21 out of nowhere. And we're going to have a chance to make history. LeBron in a huge game six, 39 and 14. Maybe Jason Kidd was the move we needed, man. He's passing the ball, doing what he's got to do. And now it all comes down to this game seven. Oh, it's looking like a blowout. And we have finally built a good enough team to beat the 2017 Warriors. It only took prime LeBron, Drew Holiday, prime Shaq, J.R. Smith, Jason Kidd, Jonathan Isaac, uh, Michael Porter Jr., and just Duncan Robinson dropping 20 out of nowhere. We can't see the ceremony. It's glitched. The one time we win the championship, I can't see the ceremony. That's awesome, dude. Here's the final box score. Shaq with 26. Jared with 25. Wow, way to step up. And Shaq was the finals MVP, dropping 26, 12, and 5. Shaq, our leading scorer. LeBron with 22, 6, and 11. J.R. Smith dropping 18. Drew Holiday with 14 and great defense. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what team we should beat next. Goodbye. Hey, if you're still here, go ahead and click that video right there in the middle of the screen. It's a video that's recommended to you by YouTube, so they personally track all your... Okay, I don't want to say that to you because it feels like you're like they're like spying on you, but like they know what you want to watch. Like, okay, they're, they're, they're very understanding of what you like. So, um, you know, just click the video because you're going to like it. I promise. Okay, goodbye.